Hi, I'm Dan Resnicek from Pacific Northwest Urology, and I've been getting a lot of questions in my clinic lately about ureteral stents. Many patients have been having a lot of misconceptions about ureteral stents, and hopefully I can clear up some of those today. So the first question I've been asked recently is, can a stone pass through a stent? And no, a stone cannot pass through a ureteral stent. Stents range in size from about four and a half French to about seven French in size for kidney stones. And there is three French to every millimeter. So four and a half to seven and a half, sorry, four and a half to seven French is only about one and a half millimeters to three millimeters in total diameter at the outside of the stent. So the internal lumen is even much smaller than that. So stones cannot pass through a ureteral stent. So the next question, can a stone pass around a stent? And yes, occasionally stones can pass around a stent. It's very uncommon, about 10 to 20% of the time. And typically this is happening with stones that are very down, uh, down far, close to the bladder, and very small stones, usually under three to four millimeters in size. So how do we know that your stone hasn't passed around the stent? Oftentimes before we do a procedure, we'll take an x-ray, if the stone is visible on x-ray, and if it is, great, we know that the stone is still in place. Um, if the stone is very small or not visible on x-ray, as some stones that are not calcium-based are not visible on x-ray, or small stones are not visible on x-ray, um, a lot of times we just assume that the stone is still there. Because the stent was probably placed for a, an important reason. Either you were having severe pain, you had an infection, there was some sort of strong indication to place that stent. If we just remove it and we're not sure if the stone is still there, there's a decent chance that it is still there, and it's a high percentage of the time that it's going to cause the same problem again what it did previously. Sometimes we want to be absolutely sure we can get a CT scan, but again, that's a lot of additional radiation. So oftentimes, if you've had a stent placed, we assume that the stent, stone is still going to be there and plan on operating. Now, there are some special circumstances where we may not do that, and talk to your urologist about those. Another question I often get asked is, can I remove a stent myself? And yes, oftentimes we'll place a stent with a string on it that comes externally out the urethra for the patient to remove at home at a later date. Simply grab the string and pull, and the stent will come out in its entirety. Generally, it's not very uncomfortable or painful to do so, although you can have some pain the next day or two after removing a stent. Sometimes that stent was put there and needs to stay in place, and we don't want it to be accidentally removed at home. Maybe there was a reason during surgery or the ureter needs longer to heal after the procedure. So in those situations, there's no string left on the stent, and you'll have to come into clinic to get it removed with a camera. That procedure itself takes anywhere from 30 seconds to usually less than two minutes, uh, but it's pretty quick and easy to remove a stent. Another question we often get asked is, why not just leave a stent in place? Let it drain the ureter forever. Why do I have to have it removed at a later date? A stent is a plastic object in the urinary tract, and any foreign body in the urinary tract left for long enough will start to develop stones on top of it, um, or encr encrustations on the stent, and this can happen anywhere from weeks to months afterwards, depending on the patient. So generally we want to remove the stent or do a procedure to take care of the stone as soon as reasonably possible afterwards, but know that you can have three to six months um, window to do so at the most. Sometimes we place stents for other reasons, not for kidney stones, for extrinsic compression or squeezing on the ureter from an outside source, either from scar tissue or tumors, and that situates in that situation is a bit different. Sometimes we leave stents in place for longer, but we do have to remove them at some point. Stents that are left in place for too long, if a patient forgets about them, can start to block the kidney, and in long-term situations, can even lead to that kidney no longer functioning. So if you have a stent, make sure you talk to your urologist about a plan to remove it, and, and don't forget to follow up with them in the future. Hopefully that answers a lot of questions you had about stents. If you have any other questions, feel free uh, to leave questions in the comments below. We'll try to get to them. And, and please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.